get inside. So few people. I've been here yesterday. I know not yesterday. Last Wednesday, when I withdrawn uh, my money at the ATM. So this is what it looks like here inside the departure area. This is where Air Asia check in is located. Uh, so I'll be trying that self check in later. And this is what their restroom looks like. very clean and it's it has no smell at all and that's the part for the girls and the prayer room for the Muslims I check it's 12:24 here in Brunei and most of these stalls here are closed because they are having their prayer from 12 to 2 p.m. yes Anyways, I am done with my self-check-in. So I'll show you around more on International Airport here in Brunei. Okay, this is what you will see here. So many airlines operate here. But the main airline here is the Brunei Royal Airline. about to enter the uh, departure area for uh, the immigration but the uh, lady over there said that Air Asia needs to stamp something on my boarding pass because I already um, had myself checked in but they need to stamp something on it before I would be allowed to go there I guess I have to wait for the workers in Air Asia I'm done with their prayers and I am done with my document verification at Air Asia counter. So Brunei is a bit strict, and the Air Asia staff even checked my uh, ticket from KL to Laos. They're a bit strict here. And now I'm going to the immigration so that I can go to the departure area. After the immigration, this is what you will see. Amazing, and they have again this um, little setup where you can take your pictures. <laughs> Amazing, it's the same with what I experienced in Brunei Memories in Yayasan Mall. So not much people here. Hi. Uh, by the way, before you can cross the security check in the immigration, you have to um, remove your belt and as well as your jacket and of course the uh, dangerous things. And I had a mini heart attack when the security officer said that uh, I have a power bank and I said yes and then one of the security officer is holding cellophane plastic I thought 
they would confiscate my power bank. But no, they just wrap it with this plastic. And there's a big notice there that you're not allowed to use your power bank while on the plane. And by the way, that is a model of an airplane, I think. Uh, Brunei made a little model on that because they were the first one or the first country in Southeast Asia to use that model of the airplane. I think it's from Boeing or from Airbus. When checking my ticket, my boarding pass, I mean, I am assigned in gate number eight, and gate number eight is over there. That is the way going to gate number eight. And it's a bit far. Ugh. Okay, gate number eight is still close, so I have to go back to my way. Okay, it's still close, so I have to go back to the chairs. We are now going to the boarding area. They are measuring the weight of the bags. And I am already here in the boarding area. And they really did uh, weigh my two bags. And it weighed more than 7 kilograms. But I think it's okay for them because it only exceeded uh, a few grams. This is the boarding area. And we are now going to our plane, which is that one.
After walking for a few minutes, I guess I've been walking for 10 minutes right now, here near the immigration. This is the immigration area. Okay, immigration. And this is it. Immigration and I am now done with the immigration, no questions asked. So the next thing that I will do is to go ride a bus go to going to and I'm right here in the exit of Kuala Lumpur International Airport. 